The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Number five from Chem 2045, Exam 1, Fall 2009. The vitamin C content, C6H806, in a tablet is analyzed by a reaction with bromine and then titration, so here's the reaction with bromine, and then titration of the hydrobromic acid with standard base sodium hydroxide, according to t these two equations. One tablet was dissolved in water and reacted uh, with bromine. That's given by equation one. The solution was then titrated with 53.20 mils sodium hydroxide and the sodium hydroxide was this concentration. How much vitamin C did the tablet contain in milligrams? I want to take a minute to talk about what a titration is, because if we can conceptualize what a titration is, it's easier to do this problem, have a good feel for how to approach the problem. So it tells us that first we, we took some C6H806, dissolved it in water, and reacted it with bromine, according to the equation, this first equation. So, in a titration, that would be uh, the thing that gets titrated, which is the vitamin C, is what you put in your Erlenmeyer flask. So, here is the vitamin C. Uh, that's what I put the vitamin C and the bromine in. But when they came together, then they reacted, gave me product. So, there's HBr left over and this C6H606. But what we care about is the HBr. Why? Well, because the HBr then goes on to react with sodium hydroxide and give us product. And that's what a titration does, is it lets us take the sodium hydroxide and put it in this burette. So we'll fill the burette up with, with NaOH, and then we're just going to drip it at our own pace until we know that the sodium hydroxide has completely reacted away the HBr and we have nothing but product left over because all the HBr is gone. How do I know when that end point is? I'll see a color change because I put a little bit of dye in there called phenolphthalein um, and w whenever all the HBr is gone it'll turn like bright pink or something and it tells me stop, no, don't add any more sodium hydroxide. 53.20 mils was sufficient. So, it took 53.20 mils, and, and then I used all this up. That's the volume of NaOH that I used up. And then it's turned pink. So that's what a titration is. It's a controlled chemical reaction. Based on, based on the value, uh, based on the volume of sodium hydroxide that I used, based on how concentrated that sodium hydroxide was, I can figure out how much HBr there was in the Erlenmeyer flask. And then we say, where did that HBr come from? This HBr came from the vitamin C that we, that we started out with. So that's how we're going to approach the problem. Okay. So based on the two knowns, based on what mol molarity's definition is, molarity says moles per uh, moles of solute divided by liters of solution and in our case uh, actually check this out if, if I take the liters of solution which is the volume and I multiply the liters of solution over here then liters of solution times molarity gives me moles of solute so liters of solution, that's the sodium hydroxide, I'm going to convert to liters in my head, but you guys should do conversions until you're very, very comfortable. So here's the liters of solution. Now I'm going to take the molarity of the NaOH, molar, and that's going to give me the moles of solute, or the moles of NaOH. This turns out to be 
0.007182 moles anyway. Anyway. So what did, what did we just do? We just figured out how many moles we used in order to completely react away with HBr. So based on this many moles of NaOH, I can now convert all those moles of NaOH, uh, and I can say, oh, well then, since it's a one-to-one -one mole ratio between NaOH and HBr, it must have taken the same amount of mole here. It must have taken the same amount of moles uh, to. It must have taken the same amount of moles of HBr to react with that many moles of sodium hydroxide. And a conversion will show us this. For every one mole in AOH, so that moles in AOH cancel moles in AOH, I have one mole HBr. How do I know it's one to one? According to this second equation. Good. Punch this out, I just get 0 0.007 again. So 182 moles HBr. That tells me how many moles of HBr were in my Erlenmeyer flask. I'm going to take that many moles of HBr. And we put, now that I know how, how many were produced from the first reaction, I can convert back to vitamin C that I started out with. For every two moles HBr, I there must have been one mole of vitamin C to produce that two moles. And then, I'm not looking for, I'm not looking for moles of vitamin C, I'm looking for milligrams of vitamin C. So first I'm going to go to grams of vitamin C, through the molar mass, which turns out to be 176.124 grams of vitamin C. And then I'm just going to convert to milligrams by multiplying. Let's see, I need, I need grams on the bottom and I need milligrams at the top. So there are a thousand milligrams in a gram. And finally, I get my answer 632. 0.5 milligrams of vitamin C. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.